glad you are. Gila. Bet you're glad you met me. There are several criteria by which we judge a video game. Unfortunately for these these scantily clad orc things, this one fails at most of them, but there is a saving grace for this game, a kind of intangible quality that's hard to describe without sounding like a teenaged fanboy on a message board. There are a lot of problems with Two Worlds 2, but if I could, this game is pretty freaking cool. That seems like an arbitrary quality to ascribe to any game, and that's because it is. This is a totally subjective thing to say. But you know what? So is a video game review. And there's something about Two Worlds 2 that I just like. And if you can overlook the game's ample technical shortcomings, it's not hard to see why. In fact, two words. Orcs and boobs. Of course, there's also more to the game than just that. Two Worlds 2 is a sequel to the 2007 original, a game that was released for the Xbox 360 and the PC. This time, Two Worlds has also come to the PlayStation 3 and the Mac. Obviously, we're playing the PS3 version here, but across all those platforms, Two Worlds 2 is basically the same epic action RPG, and that's both a good and a bad thing. You play as a human whose sister has been kidnapped by this... this evil king guy. Interestingly enough, given the game's backstory, you're assisted in your journey to rescue her by a group of orcs. These aren't quite the orcs that Tolkien imagined either. These are, like, wise magical orcs, critical of man's natural inclinations for violence and self-destruction. And speaking of Tolkien, there's a lot of imagery in this game lifted from fantasy epics like Lord of the Rings and even countless other video games. In fact, that's one of the game's problems. The characters and designs are just so stereotypical, you'll swear you saw them in some other game, only you didn't. They're just that unoriginal looking. And while we're talking about the game's problems, uh, just check out the game's graphics. So this is really a good example of what I said earlier about this game being interesting in spite of itself. Two Worlds 2 is running on some pretty awesome technology that creates genuinely impressive effects and environments, but everything else, the animations, the models, they're not good to say the least. In fact, they're actually pretty terrible. And yet, the game still looks cool, and that's the recurring theme in Two Worlds 2. This game just isn't as bad as it probably should be. This is another massive action RPG in the form of a fantasy epic, a title not unlike the Oblivions of the world. You play from a third-person perspective, running around casting spells, collecting a myriad of objects, and thankfully, waging battle without taking turns. The Zelda fan in me might have something to do with it, but running around these environments during my quests, it was fun enough to mask the game's shortcomings. I mean, well, barely. And that's the thing, you know, there's so many problems with Two Worlds 2, it does take a huge hit on the game's enjoyability. Aside from the unpolished graphics and animations, the controls are also kind of a mess. They're so context sensitive, it's sometimes hard to remember what button does what in a given situation. You pair that with its clunky combat and its really convoluted menus, and again, you're finding that you enjoy the game despite it clearly not wanting you to. By all rights, I should have hated this game. Objectively speaking, it just isn't good. But for some reason, I didn't hate Two Worlds 2. In fact, I kind of enjoyed it. And it wasn't just because of the orcs and boobs. Although, like the game itself, those are pretty cool. 